If you are not familiar with the machining process, CNC turning and milling may look exactly the same. After all, they appear to be very similar processes and achieve similar results. Hi everyone. The theme of this video is the difference between CNC turning and milling. What is it? Understanding these will enable you to decide which method is most suitable for your project requirements, it may save you a lot of time and money. Before explaining the difference between CNC turning and milling, we first explore the overall terminology used to describe these two processes. In fact, some customers may request CNC machining services, which means it is up to the manufacturer to decide which method is most suitable for their requirements. In CNC machining, CNC represents computer numerical control, which involves inputting instructions into the machine and then controlling lathes, milling machines, milling machines, and grinders. Then remove excess materials from the raw materials to manufacture the required parts that meet precise specifications. The difference between CNC turning and milling. In short, the difference between CNC turning and milling lies in whether the actual moving parts are the machine itself or the raw materials. The CNC milling process involves fixing the material in place while the cutting tool rotates around the material. On the other hand, CNC turning requires the tool to remain in the same position while the material rotates at high speed to form precise shapes. Although this is very simple, the process is much more complex than what appears on the surface. There are several differences between CNC turning and milling. Tool Characteristics CNC turning tools are single point, milling tools are multi-point. Usage CNC milling is more suitable for processing flat and irregular surfaces, while CNC turning is mainly used for processing cylindrical or conical surfaces. Cutting CNC turning involves continuous cutting, where the tool maintains continuous contact with the workpiece. CNC milling adopts intermittent cutting, where the cutting teeth continuously mesh and detach from the raw material. Chips CNC milling always produces discontinuous chips, while CNC turning can produce discontinuous, continuous, and fragmented chips. Now that we have explained the difference between CNC turning and milling, we will now introduce each process in more detail. What is CNC turning? Although you may think that CNC turning is a relatively new invention, it actually originated from one of the oldest and simplest forms of component manufacturing, the use of lathes. According to the weight and tolerance of the workpiece, the machine can be horizontal or vertical, and the raw materials used are usually circular, but can also be square or hexagonal. The main function of a CNC turning center is to rotate, turn, the workpiece while the machine tool moves, to remove excess material to form the desired shape. Firstly, the material is fixed in place by an instrument called a chuck and then rotated at different speeds according to the specifications of the machine. The earliest lathes used to be manually operated through a series of wheels. Then, these wheels will move the chuck while fixing the workpiece to generate the required forward and backward movement for cutting. Fast forward to today, modern CNC lathes have adopted digital control without the need for continuous manual monitoring. CNC turning is more commonly used to manufacture cylindrical parts, such as customized hollow pipes and shafts. Although 5-axis machining can be used to manufacture these components, using turning methods is more cost-effective and efficient. What is CNC milling? Unlike CNC turning that typically only uses single-point cutting tools, CNC milling is performed using multiple axes. The more traditional one is the three axis, which allows the cutting tool to move in three directions, called X, Y, and Z. Limiting the process to only three directions can set some restrictions on the geometry of the parts that can be created, but this is sufficient to complete the vast majority of processes that require milling services. There are also various types of milling cutters that provide different cutting methods, such as end milling, hollow milling, and face milling. CNC milling also provides machining on four or more axes, including tool and table rotation. 
These provide additional flexibility. The most common of these machines is running on five axes, and they can almost manufacture anything that can be manufactured through CNC machining. However, it is worth remembering that using a five-axis machine is more expensive than a three-axis machine. Your precision engineering supplier will be able to discuss your requirements to determine which machine is most suitable for your project, so you won't have to spend unnecessary money. This high-level functionality makes Sensi milling suitable for more complex components, such as custom tools, complex mechanisms, casings, and engine parts. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in Sensi machining content, please subscribe to our channel.